Unfortunately, because of COVID, we were unable to do any of the usual tours here. We could still go to the museum, which on its own was still really worthwhile, and we spent over an hour here. We even found one of Vincent's relatives featured. Wild Bill Tui was a legendary stockman and tobacco farmer. So legendary, he even had a book written about him. So this is how my wife dresses when she goes camping. This is her camping outfit. Vincent's cooking himself up some snags on the barber. What's this place called? Like Australia's Age of Dinosaurs. No, I mean, but this area. This is called the Jump Up. In 1999, David Elliott discovered a fossilized bone on his property. This was later identified as a giant femur from a crustaceous cerepod. From there, the discoveries kept coming, and the Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum is now home to the world's largest collection of Australian dinosaur fossils. If dinosaurs are your thing, this is a must visit. Oh my god, I don't know if you can see this fence. Stop, stop, stop! Oh, oh. There's flies all over! Oh. The reason I keep doing this is because they keep flying in my bloody ears. It's disgusting! SOS! Wow, how cool is this? We've come to a pretty cool spot called the Pinnacle Rock Formation. We can't really go any further because it's a little too off-road for Molly to handle. Um, but if we hadn't already booked somewhere tonight, we'd probably stay here. Obviously people do. There's camp spots everywhere. And this is obviously what was once a river, creek. stream, creek. creek. Completely dry. Some purchase today. No flies on me. <laughs> Where's this guy? Look at them. They're all over him. See? He's gonna have fun spotting. He's making fun of me, but look at him now. Regrets. Wow, this is amazing. We were just reading the sign about this. This has been a swimming hole for generations here, and look at it now. It's literally completely dried up completely nothing at all there it's amazing imagine this coming down the water can look yeah. like some serious waterfall down there yeah previous waterfall not anymore completely dry up so we're standing in what would have been the creek bed effectively going through here that's absolutely nothing except the whole I mean, thousands of loads of flies Jesus There's some pretty cool uh, original 
Aboriginal art in here and then you've got other people who obviously in 69 and 50 didn't know much better than to make their own name over it. What's that one? 1925. Hmm. And this is pretty cool. So many flies. And then flies, bro. Mm, oh, so gross. Oh. I mean, I'm sure I'm not much better. How do I turn this camera around? I mean, they're all over my face, aren't they? I just know it. Well, not my face, yeah, but this are. thing. Yep. How disgusting. Thank God I've got this thing on. Oh, look at them. They're just everywhere. Oh, oh it's a swarm. These would be on my face. Sounds like I'm in a beehive. Ugh. We really enjoyed our time in Winton. There's a lot to do here. One of our favorite things was the open air theatre. Originally built in 1918, one of only two left operating in Australia and has been owned by the Everett family since 1937. Walsing Matilda was written in 1895 by Australian poet Banjo Patterson. It was later put to music in 1903. It is often described as Australia's unofficial national anthem and has had at least 500 different versions of it recorded. So these are the famous Coolabar trees. What's the song? What's the jolly swag man? Can't buy Billabong under the shade of Coolabar tree. There we go, the Billabong's just over there. If there's any water in it, that is. But these are all Coolabar trees. So these are, what are they called, Vincent? Rock overlays. Rock overlays. And they were all built by the station owners in 1890 and each sort of river that you go across has got these little bridges almost but they were designed to keep the water in the billabong for longer after the rain yeah pretty cool like that would have taken a lot back in 18. so if you walk down you'll see we still water this side but not that side mm. so no water here little bridge then, here you have the water or the billabong under the shade of the Coolabar tree.
famous billabong, the once jolly swagman sat. sunset in the outback. This is totally unfiltered, it's ridiculous, it's probably not gonna come up like it is in real life, but it is just amazing. It is just us. And a couple of sheep. And a couple of sheep. But <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Like nothing. Just an amazing sunset in us. <laughs> 